Good afternoon, Jack. Good afternoon, Jacob. And good afternoon, Cougars. Today was Tuesday, and it was a normal day. Yep, and tomorrow's Wednesday, and it's a late start, but it's just a regular day. And as you can see, we have a very special guest, so can you tell us your name? My name is Ken Burns. And uh, what is your job? I work with Stratasys, and we make 3D printers. Yes, I think. And uh, what are some of the craziest things you've printed with a 3D printer? So I've got a few samples here I can show. Some of the cr things we can make are lifelike looking things. So this is a piece of sushi, not edible, but it looks just like it. You can print some medical models, so simulating what the inside of the body looks like. Side of the head there. Nice. And then even just things that are not makeable any other way besides 3D printing. So this very complex cube that you can't make any other way. If you get a close up look on it, it's kind of mind bending. Yeah, it is weird. Those are all really interesting, and my favorite one is definitely the sushi. So, Jacob, what's your favorite one? Uh, probably the cube, actually. But uh, during, yeah, he, he had a presentation for a few of us, mm -hmm. and so he showed us a video, and he talked about how there were, like, prosthetic arms. So uh, can you describe that a little? Sure, absolutely. So in the medical world, some of the things that we can do is children or people who lose a limb, they often don't have a way to get a new prosthetic arm for it. So what we've come up with is a way that you can actually scan their arm and 3D print something that works just for them and is custom and gives them functionality and restores some of the things they could not previously do. Which is pretty <coughs> cool, actually. Yeah. Absolutely. So what would you say is your favorite thing you've printed so far? One of my favorite things I printed is I got to actually scan myself and then I 3D printed me. <laughs> so if you can imagine all you guys got a chance to 3D print yourself and you have your own action figure of you, that's what I have at home. I would definitely want to do that. I would <laughs> love a mini me. Here is Sophia with the kindness team. Hello, Cougars. So I'm here with two kind students. So tell me your name, please. My name is Everett, and I uh, help my teacher put away uh, our math books. My name is Robbie, and I smiled more today. That's great. Here's Jenna and Kristen. Hey Cougars, as you remember, I'm Jenna. And I'm Kristen. Tomorrow is the last day to bring in books for our book drive, so please remember to bring as many as you are able to donate. We will be donating the books to Salvation Army and Operation Paperback, which is a charity that sends books out to the military so that they can read to their children on camera when they are serving in another country. The class that brings in the most books wins a pizza party, and we'll, we will be announcing who, win, who won on Thursday. Here's Caitlin with prayer. Hello, Cougars. So as you know, we say the St. Angelo Amrici prayer every afternoon, and I just want to give you a simple breakdown of what this prayer means. Also, if you didn't know, this prayer was created by Emily Arnell, and she graduated in 2010. So the first line is, O Lord God, you restored St. Angela's sight when she was blind. Help us to see your love among us and to never be blind to our faith. So St. Angela Marici was blind and God restored her sight, and this also means that we should never be blind to our faith and never deny it. The next line is, St. Angela devoted her life to caring for the, the, the dis disabled. Grant us the compassion to always help those in need and the dedication to live a faithful life as she did. This line means that St. Angela helped caring for the sick, and this also means to always help others in need and live a faith-filled life. Next is, as St. Angela taught young girls who had no education, may we always value our teachers. St. Angela taught girls who did not have an education. This also means that we should always thank our teachers for teaching us and helping us to strive to have a great future. The last line is, bring us closer to you, Lord God, and lead us on our journey to heavenly kingdom. St. Angela and Marici pray for us, amen. This means that God will lead us on a journey just like he led St. Angela. Now here's Jack and Jacob. Have a fantastic rest of your day, Cougars. And if you want to be kind to others, now is the time. You see nothing but damaged goods. I see